My name is Nicolas, Nicolas Arias. I am from Bogota, Colombia. Mm. I came here probably almost three years ago, more or less. So when I was 22, now I'm 25. Mm. And yeah, I've been living here for the past almost three years now. All the time that I've moved abroad from Colombia, it's been mm. Germany. So the first time that I came to Germany, it was in 2012, just for a trip with my best friend. I liked Berlin very much, so I decided that I wanted to live here. So I went back to Colombia, I finished my career. No, I actually, no, that's, that's a lie. I, I went back to Colombia, I took a gap semester to come to Berlin to study German for six months. Then I went back to Colombia, I finished my bachelor, which is in journalism. And, and then I worked for around one year and something, and then I came to Germany. Uh, what I'm doing right now is online marketing and more specifically influencer marketing. So what we do here is we connect, we connect brands, different brands from, from all over the world to, with influencers, that to, to be said, uh, Instagrammers, YouTubers, uh, influencers from Snapchat, from Facebook, etc., 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 to promote their brands and to do collaborations and sponsorships. I actually started doing it while I was doing my master's. So, well, to start with, I did my master's in intercultural conflict management. Um, so, not related to this at all. <laughs> but uh, I needed a job as I was studying. So, and I had one, but it was just like 10 hours per week. So, I needed another one. And one friend of mine was, studying, uh, was working here. And then she went to Mexico for a couple of months, so I took her job for those months. Then when she came back to Berlin, my contract and my other job was ending, uh, but here they were like, they were happy with my job, so they will offer me a 20 hour per week uh, contract as I was studying. And then when I finished my master's, they offered me a full-time position. I really like what I'm doing here, and I think that the thing that I like the most about here is that we are, we all are in the same position, not just the employees, but also the founders, the co-founders, the CEO, the CTO. All we are in like the same position. We between, like among us all, we take the decisions for everything. So we are, yeah, we're we are part of the whole process. So I don't feel like I'm in a lower level, lower level than somebody else in the company. Not at all. But I will definitely like to change jobs and to get back to what I really want to do. I would like to do journalism and I would like to focus. I don't think that it's, that it's as easy as it will be in Colombia, I guess. But not because of the country, but because I have already connections in my country, so I already know people who are working in journalism. I already know um, friends who are working either in media or in media agencies, or people from the university, professors, etc., etc., etc. Whereas here I know no one that's working in journalism. Uh, of course, the language plays a really important role, crucial role, and if you don't speak the language, I, you, I, I think that you won't get a, a good job in, in the media. Overall, because, and I don't know why, there are not so many international media in Germany, and most of the media is in German, so besides some very, very, very small magazines or <coughs> blogs online, that probably won't have the money to hire people. Uh, what do you are? What do? You, what else do you have? So probably you have the Deutsche Welle, that it's <clears throat> that, that that it's featuring like in 26 languages or something like that. Um, but more than that, you don't have more international media that you can actually think of applying to. I I took a German course six, uh, when I lived here for six months. And before I started the master, I did another course. So technically my German should be between the B2 and C1. Um, Very good. But that's in the paper. Like in real life, it's not at all. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I really struggle trying to communicate with people. Sometimes I don't. Like there are sometimes like sure. it's super sure. fluent sure. and I talk with people and sure. everything's doing so good. And there are some other moments when I'm like, I don't even know how to talk. <laughs> I think that that depends on everybody. There's people that are more likely to to learn uh, to learn a language, and some other that won't. Um, for example, I didn't I didn't ever take uh, an English class, for example. 
So the the English courses at my at my, co uh, at my high school were like extremely bad. So the English that I speak, I learned it like myself, like listening to music, etc., etc., etc. So I think that I do have like um, I don't know, like something for languages maybe, and I learn fast. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I I never really had like any external help besides like you know like outside the 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 room the the, the the course room so I don't know I think that it depends on everybody so for me it was just like talking with my friends my friends from abroad like saying like hey let's not speak in English let's not speak in Spanish let's try to speak in German and then correct yourself and try to do something and from I think that that's how I've learned I, I actually only had like one German friend like for a long time um, and it was when I first came here not the past not, not the last time but this time so two years and something ago um, I went to a party and then I met this German guy and we started talking and that's like the only German friend that I had like for a long long time ago most of my friends I met them in the university and, and fun fact, it's that most of my friends are also from Colombia and it was never meant to be, like I was looking for Colombian friends but I, I, I started the master's program and then I met all these other Colombian people who were doing the master's program who are just like the most beautiful people in the world so we just started hanging out together and at the end, like sometimes we, we got asked like hey why do you just hang out with Colombians like isn't weird that you came all the way to Germany just like to hang out with Colombians like we just get along so well <laughs> it, it, it was totally a, 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 a coincidence we I, I mean at least I never really looked to have just Colombian friends and it's not like I just have Colombian friends but the majority of my friends are from Colombia and I think we are pretty like a pretty cool group like even like the the people that are not from Colombia that are Germans or that are like from the UK or it's from Spain uh, they always like to hang out with us and so a, a Portuguese friend of ours actually started learning Spanish just to communicate better with us because we will always speak in Spanish <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest with you I don't think that I never really had like a huge cultural shock uh, overall because all of my friends are, or most of my friends are people from other places than Germany. So it's like kind of like a mix of cultures and we try to, I know, to figure out things. I think that people just seem so crazy and so free and just doing whatever they wanted to do. And I, I stayed close to Schöneberg and there was like a lot of, yeah, like, crazy people or people that I will not necessarily see in back in back home like in the circles that I moved around that interested me a lot of, a lot mm, I even saw like naked people walking in the streets and I, I, I thought that it was pretty interesting it's just I wanted to get to know more about that so I guess that it was the sensation of freedom uh, uh, if you can define freedom, you know, because freedom can be anything and nothing. But uh, for for what I wanted, to f I don't know. I was in a, I, I was in a place in my life at, at back then that I really wanted a change. Like th things seemed very like I don't know inside of the box at the moment. And I just wanted to go out <clears throat> to to go out of there. So I I liked it. But if I had to answer. I don't understand why everything has to be so complicated and the bureaucracy here has to be so demanding and so exhausting and everything has to be in paper and print and with a stamp and with a signature. It's like, do you really need that? Like, I, I don't know, like, so I, it even, I don't know, I, 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 I don't really understand. Like, and people will think that when you come from Colombia, that Colombia is a very underdeveloped country in so many things but then when you start talking with people you 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 you, you kind of understand that there are some processes in Colombia that are way ahead from Germany in terms of bureaucracy for example uh, that you just like try uh, has to uh, you have to do an errand or something like that so quickly everything's online 
and here in Germany everything is like per mail and then wait a couple of weeks so it takes too longer too long for for something to get done that it was a little bit exhausting and that Germans not not all Germans so I don't like to to generalize but in a lot of cases it's it's it, it's it's been like I'm trying to to do something with a German and then they think that the whole process should be done like this and then if you do it like that, it's like terrible for them. Like why? At the end it's just going to be the same results. It's like yeah, but you don't do it like that. Like, well, why not? You can do it in several ways. There's there's a bar very close to my place and that I that I usually hang out there and like a lot of my close friends, we live very close to each other and we found this bar and they know us already so when we go in, they will like always say like, hey, how are you? How are you doing? And do you wanna, do you wanna, I don't know, do you wanna shot? Do you wanna, I don't know, share a beer with the bartender or yeah, so it's, it feels pretty, pretty familiar to us and as meaning my friends and we like to hang out in parks as well, like to go to I don't know any park that is close to us and maybe have a drink there or something. Mm -hmm. um, restaurants, we also go out. We try to go out to try different restaurants around the area. And for nightlife, for clubbing, I think that, well, there's like, <laughs> there's a lot of clubs in Berlin, right? Uh, but I will say that one of my favorites might be Sisyphus. I go to the gym, that's about like, related to sports. I would like to, to play volleyball, that would make me really happy. And, and besides that, I like to listen to music and I like to read and I like to write. I think that I'm not writing as often as I did in Colombia, not just because I'm not working as a journalist, but just because I, I think that I didn't keep with my blog and things like that. Mm, Music-wise, I think that I found more interesting music here. Uh, Maybe because I'm more open to, to new sounds and to new genres and things like that. And to read, uh, it's pretty easy to find like really good books in, in English or Spanish here. So I, I didn't, I mean, I, I, I've been reading just as much. I think that it's harder not because of that, not because of the language or not because of th that there are not gyms in Colombia. Uh, but I think that there are less options here, to be honest, than, in, than back in Colombia. And all the gyms you have to sign a contract for like a, a year minimum, something like that. Whereas in Colombia, there are like so many different plans, and and I know more. I, I don't know. I think that it's more, that there are more possibilities for you to be flexible with what you want to do, and not like attached to a gym for a for a whole year. And then when you don't want to pay, um, when, when you don't want to sign the contract for a year in the gym, they're like, okay, then it's not 20, but then it's 50 euros per month. So like, okay. <laughs> so I, I guess that it's hard in here, but just because of that. I think there's a general process, like, like a, yeah, like a general normal process when you move abroad uh, that you start like disconnecting with some people, maybe friends that you're not so close with. Uh, but like with my really really close friends, we still keep in touch, and we I don't know we I message all the time, and we FaceTime whenever we can. Um, but actually, my two best friends uh, they moved from Colombia as well, so they now are living in, in Spain. So it's actually easier for us to to see each other more often. But of course, I lost a uh, track on so a couple of friendships. That it's a little bit of. A shame, but to find a place. Um, but since I already lived here for six months, a couple of years ago, I knew already myself around. So I first arrived and stayed in a hostel for a week or something. Then I found an apartment, uh, a room. I mean, in through these websites online, I searched something. I don't know and in Veling and I lived there for almost a year and then a friend of mine was living in this apartment and I always wanted to live in Neukölln because I guess that everybody wants to live there and all my friends will live in there so I moved there. Vacation so they should take care more about like how to I don't know like how to prevent that people will 
high, uh, will higher the prices of the rooms or their apartments like just as much as they uh, as they uh, as they're doing right now, and, and I don't think that they are doing something about it right now. And if you ask me for migrants specifically, there could be more help in terms of like financial aid, something that for example France does. And France is, I will say that France is not as as open to migrants as, as Germany is. However, when you come to France and it's because, I mean, there's a reason why, right? So prices are so expensive to live in Paris, for example, it's so expensive that, German, that, that the French government is <coughs> always trying to help migrants lower in their fees or paying a little bit of the, um, of the monthly um, a fee of the, of the room. So I think that that could be also a good thing to have. Uh, food in Colombia is so delicious and it's so uh, like the variety of, uh, of food is so big that you can have like so many things so delicious and here I don't see uh, that much of vari variety overall when you want to eat outside so not like going to a fancy restaurant or, or anything but just like I'm at work and then on my lunch break I want to buy something there's I always feel like the, the options are so so few but yeah, that's just like little, little things that you can go without. I like to walk a lot, so I try to walk as much as I can. Uh, overall, during the, during the summer, I try to do it as much as I can. But uh, in general terms, I move with the public transportation. Uh, and I don't know why people complain so much about it. Like they are always saying like it's late, it doesn't work, it's the, like a terrible company. I I do not necessarily concur. I think that it's a good company, and I think that they do their best in general to provide the city with a good transportation. Uh, I like it very much, and I like and I really like them as a company. Like I follow them on Twitter and on Instagram and Facebook, and they're always posting these like hilarious things and like super funny and making jokes on the, uh, on themselves. So I think that it's very nice. <laughs>